Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set involving a data table. It says that there are uh, six students. These are among the top six students uh, in their college and they appeared in their trimester examination which had five subjects. The names of the subjects are mentioned over here. Now their marks are given in the form of GPA. Okay, and it is also given that how is the GPA calculated? So it is calculated in the following manner. GPA is 10 into score of the student upon maximum score in that subject. So for example, let us say uh, the maximum marks in a subject are 80. Okay, and if someone gets a score of let us say 72. So his GPA will be 72 upon 80 into 10 that is 9. So this is how these GPA have been calculated for these six students in the five subjects. Now, a couple of more information is provided to us. It says that uh, the marks obtained by every student in all subjects are integers greater than 50. So all these values, these are GPAs, the marks, actual marks are all greater than 50 and marks obtained by T9 all subjects are multiple of 10. So using this piece of information, we need to determine the actual marks and answer the questions. So first of all, let us look at OB. If we see the, uh, the maximum GPA is 10. Okay, so obviously the topper will have a GPA of 10. So she's the topper in the subject. Now the, uh, if we look at these decimal points, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. So by looking at the decimal points, we could figure out that 0.75 translate to something upon four. Like, so this means that these, uh, the total is a multiple of four. Let us call it 4a. Okay, so if we consider this marks as 40, if we assume that this maximum is 40, uh, then we get this value as like 7.75 into uh, 4. So 7 into uh, 4 is 28 plus 3, 31. That does not make an integer value. That is make That makes a value less than 50. So it has to be greater than 50. Now, if we take the next value, the next value that we can take a multiple of uh, 4 in this case will be 80. Okay. So, if we take 80, it becomes 62. So, I think all these values should be greater than 50. So, it should be justified. Let us put the values and see. So, 80 is uh, 10 GPA. So, we will multiply all these values by 8. So, this turns out to be 76. 8 is are 64. 72. And this is 64 plus 6, that is 70. Okay, so this OB, we know the maximum marks are 80. Now, if you look at QM, uh, this is 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 0 0.6. That means that it is a multiple of 5. This is 0 0.67, which means this is a multiple of 3. So, the maximum marks are a multiple of 15. Okay, now uh, if we say uh, this value to be 60, let us assume that 15 ka multiple 60. So if we take 60, that means uh, one great point is equal to 6. So this will turn out to be 48. Okay. But this is less than 50. And also it has to be a multiple of 10. So if we raise it to 75, it has to be a multiple of 10 and 15. So we take it 75. 7.5, we multiply 8, that comes as 60. And this is 8.67. 8.67 means 26 by 3. 26 by 3 into 7.5. Okay, so that gives 65. And uh, 8.4 we can multiply. We take 3, 4, that is 63. And if we take this, this will be 66. 3 fourth of this is 57. So these are the values. In QM, the maximum marks are. Seven, the uh, max highest score is 75. Now talking of ME, if you look at these values 0 0.67, 0 0.78, that translate that it is a multiple of 9. Okay. So if we take this value as 90, this is 7.78 means into 9 will give us 70. So that perfectly fits the multiple of 10 and this also as an integer value. So 8 into 9 is 72 plus 6, 78. This is 63 plus 6, 69. 9 into 9 is 81. And 9 into 7 is 63. So we have filled these values as well. 
Now coming to next FA again, it will be a multiple of four. Okay, because we see 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 0 0.25. It's a multiple of four. Again, the same case will happen if we take this to be 40. None of these values, uh, these values won't be greater than 50. So we'll take it as 80. 88 is 64, 64 plus 4, 68, 72 plus 2, 74, 64 plus 6, 70, 64 plus 2, 66. So these are the values on this subject FA and the maximum marks are 80. Now let us look at this business communication. Uh, the max is 10 so multiple of see this is 0 0.57 0 0.86 that means something upon x7 1 by 7 and this is 0 0.17 0 0.33 so that means a multiple of 6 as well okay so something a multiple of 42 right so 1 by 1 by 6 is 0 0.17 and this is multiple of 7 because point 4 by 7 is 0.57 this is 6 by 7 okay and so this gives us that it has to be a multiple of 42 now 42 is not possible so we'll take the next multiple that is 84 now let us try to find out that if everything is fine so 7.86 when translated to decimal so it is 7749 plus 6 55 by 7 okay 55 by 7 into 8.4 so this is 1.2 and this will be 66 similarly 9.17 when we convert it to fraction is 55 by 6 and into 8.4 so this comes as 55 into 1.4 is 110 into 0 0.7 that is 77 point seven point five is 3 fourth so we will take 63 okay 8.33 is 5 by 6 5 by 6 of 84 so 14 into 5 70 now this condition is also satisfied for this value and 8.57 is 6 by 7 6 by 7 of 84 is 72 and hence we complete this table getting the marks of all the students and all the subjects now let us answer the questions who was the topper of the class uh if we see we need to check only these four options Millie, ruby tina or Hassan. Mili, Hassan, Ruby, Tina. Tina has an average of 70. Clearly visible. 70, 70, 70, 80, 60. So average of 70. Now let us look at these three people. Okay. Uh, if you see these values, roughly can I say that it is 70? Because two values greater than 70, um, mid 70s, three values in 60s. So Mili is almost 70. Okay. Close call. But let's not actually calculate the values. Hassan, if we see uh, two values, three values less than 72 in 70s, nearby 70 plus plus something, maybe uh, two, three marks more than 70. Again, not calculating. But if you see Ruby, okay, 72, 75, 81, 68, 63. So in three of the subjects, one of the subjects, it's more than 80. In two of the subjects, it is in 70s, two of the subjects in 60s. So, which gives us that it is much more than the remaining three people. So, the answer will be Ruby. Now, this question could have been answered even without calculating the values by just observing the data table. If you see her uh, GPA in the subjects are 9, 10, 9, 8.5, 7.5. And others, if you see, they have most of the GPAs in the range 8, uh, 8, 8, 8, 3 times. 8, 8.4, 9.17, 10 in 1. She she has 10 in 1 and 9 in 2 other subjects. Similarly, Tina, if you see it is 8, 7.78, 8.75. .7, so no one has 9 twice, okay, 10 and 8.5. So obviously, uh, this could have been a, uh, a better approach to figure out that she might have the highest score. Okay, now the next question is the highest marks scored by any student were in which subject? So highest marks among these are 90 which is scored in ME. What were the least marks scored by any of these students in a subject? Uh, looking at the table, we can see that 57 is the least score in any of these subjects. How many of these students scored less than 80 marks in all the subjects? Less than 80 in all the subjects. Mili is one of them. Uh, Hassan has scored, see it says less than 80, okay, so we will not count 80, so Hassan will not be counted, uh, Ruby 81, 
in one of the subjects Ishwar cannot be counted then same goes for Tina and Sonu as well so we have only one student who scored less than 80 marks in all the subjects so this was uh, a calculation based set uh, involving some knowledge of numbers uh, like um, like using the decimals to figure out what could be the maximum marks in that subject so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.